everybody, Skyler here, and today I'm going to talk to you about Wax Token, Wax Coin, and, and kind of talk about that company, where, they, where they're at, where they've been, where they're going, all that jazz. I'm kind of a big fanboy of them, but before we get going, um, I do want to just say that uh, I do post videos every single day, so uh, if you do, if you are interested in the industry, I do talk about news and any anything going on in the industry. Uh, you know, so like and subscribing, all that jazz isn't a bad idea. I also figured might as well, since I am going over, um, you know, these videos every day, might as well talk about, you know, uh, the industry as a whole. In the beginning of each one, I'll try to keep it short, but, um, and I'm not a TA guy or anything like that, but I do read a lot of news, so I'll just kind of stick to what I what I know. Um, I'll, I'll try to, anyways. Dang, I can't believe we're at 135 billion. Um, we were at like 800 billion or somewhere close to that at its all-time high but at any rate um, the last few days have been awesome anyone who's been following crypto uh, the last year or so two years or well let's just say this last 12 months or so um, Bitcoin's been floating around that 6,000 price range um, and after like three months and then sideways action then all of a sudden a dramatic spike right when the you know Bitcoin cash uh, fork happened and then we went down to the you know 3,000 range, and we've just been messing around that 3,000 range. Now every single spike has been either a dramatic up or a dramatic down, which to me indicates you know big well whales buying or selling. And so the last like two and a half days, we've seen gradual, I mean pretty dramatic increases, but still it's never it's not been spikes. Um, it's been you know a kind of gradual spikes, which are awesome. Um, some of the big winners, so um, yeah, we're almost, oh my gosh, we are really close to that $4,000 range. Now if you look at the 220 day average, which I don't have pulled up right now, but you can pull it up on any chart, uh, you know, the 5,000, 5,500 range is really what we're looking for, but uh, but dang, that's awesome. We've, we've gone we've gone up quite a bit in Bitcoin the last few days. Uh, Ethereum has anyone who's been playing around with Ethereum has had a lot of fun. Um, I bought around the you know eighty dollar range, sold around the hundred fifty range, bought again around the hundred four range. I'm about to sell again. Uh, Ethereum's just been going like crazy, but it was it was a hundred and four bucks like five six days ago, something like that. Um, EOS as well, it's gone up like thirty ish, maybe more than that percent in the last couple days. Um, few days, but uh, a lot of coins have been seeing a lot of action, which is nice. And um, the nice thing is there hasn't really been any big news. I mean, um, you know, JP Morgan announced their coin, which on the surface, you know, I had friends that were like, oh, wow, crypto must be big if JP Morgan's getting involved. And it's like, well, JP Morgan's trying to kind of bypass Bitcoin, but, you know, whatever. Like, so I, I think when it comes to the masses that don't really know, they're like, oh, crypto, and, you know, I don't know. So, um, but other than that, there really hasn't been any big news to cause any spikes. In fact, there's been some kind of negative news with Ethereum. Um, but uh, um, at any rate, yeah, let's, let's get into WAX. So what is WAX? WAX essentially is a globalized, decentral marketplace for virtual assets. Think about it as the Amazon or Alibaba of virtual skins. <clears throat> Wax is a decentralized platform that enables anyone to operate a fully functional virtual marketplace without any investment in security, infrastructure, or payment processing. It was developed by the same founders as Opskin, um, which is the world's largest marketplace for online video game assets, and Wax is designed to serve that 400 million plus online players who already collect, buy, and sell in-game items. Harnessing the power of blockchain technology, WAX tokens are utility tokens that allow virtual goods, all virtual goods by the way, not just video games, uh, to easily be tokenized in exchange for cryptocurrency. It's built on the smart contract underlying the transaction. It acts as that mechanism that permits that you know trustless trading between buyer and seller that we all want. The WAX platform will allow millions of traders to create their own virtual stores on one decentralized platform that should bring millions of new players to their growing ecosystem. We take a look at their partners. Uh, they have Bancor Network, which is an integrated token that can be automatically converted into any other. Um, you got Kyber Network. They help with the exchange conversions of digital assets. 
uh, you have Jax, that's a wallet for Bitcoin and Ethereum and a, a bunch of other, other wallets. Um, Opskin.com. Now, let's kind of dive into Opskin.com because um, they um, are pretty, pretty awesome already. Uh, it was created to enable safe trading of Steam items for real life money. Before Opskin launched in 2015, users could only use proceeds from skin sales within Steam gaming platform or you know, risk getting scammed in the game between peer-to-peer -peer trades. Um, trade items like character skins and weapon skins for games like Counter-Strike and Battlegrounds and H1Z1, Team Fortress, Rust, Dota 2, and there's just tons of games that they have. So we take a look at the staff here. We have William Quigley here. He is the CEO of Opskins currently. Also, uh, co-founded Tether and GoChain. <laughs> Tether's in the news currently right now. Um, he was an early backer of of Mastercoin, and he was the largest investor of Mastercoin as well. Uh, that's the technical forerunner to Ethereum and the world's first ICO. Uh, and he was the first in institutional investor in PayPal as well. So I mean, he has a big background. Um, powerful guy then we have John here he's he's a lifetime video game player self-taught programmer he is the CTO and and founder of Opskin and the lead designer behind wax we have Jonathan here he's a COO of Opskin and the COO of wax uh, Jonathan created virtual item trading back in 1997 with its inception taking place in the realms of EverQuest and World of Warcraft. And Malcolm here, he's the CIO of Opskin and president of Wax. Um, prior to Wax, he was an international entrepreneur and the CTO and president of New Ventures at Tronic. So if we take a look at their white paper, we see it's it's quite extensive, and I won't read the entire thing. Obviously, that'd be rough, but uh, I will uh, pick out a couple things, and you guys can go read it on your own. But uh, first of all, the token. So 20% of WAX tokens are being used or will be used and retained by WAX to pay for their development team and their founders, uh, also to help the WAX platform. Um, and uh, the the scheduling of these tokens will be timed released so they're they're not going to push them all on the market at the same time so this chart's pretty interesting uh, the rise of the internet has enabled digital marketplaces to generate hundreds of billions of dollars of wealth for buyers and sellers using nine core principles to create the ecosystem for growth and wealth creation where it would not otherwise exist so I just want to uh, finish, I guess, showing the roadmap that shows that they've done everything on the roadmap since they started in Q4 of 2017, even though they've gone down 98.44%, I believe is what it is. Um, they have still completed everything on their roadmap. Now, they're still in their beta on their WAX, but... Uh, but it is operational still. In fact, if you go to their website and go to their express trade, you can actually create an account and start trading right now. By the way, all the videos on the WAX websites are amazing. Watch them all. Um, but you can start trading even on your cell phone, uh, which is really nice. Uh, and this is cool. It shows everything, all the um, websites and uh, companies that have featured WAX. But, but yeah, uh, WAX is is something I'm really excited. I really want it to succeed. Um, it's currently at four cents. It, it spiked up to almost six cents after it was at like a little over three cents, and now it's kind of recovering right now. But um, but yeah, they're they're uh, you know very active on you know Reddit, on on Twitter, on Facebook, on you know all. They just made a Discord. Um, uh, oh, this is kind of funny. And uh, William Shatner uh, commented on a tweet of some. Um, some art that was done of him and he kind of mentioned wax so I just thought that was kind of cool but uh, but anyways yeah if, um, I'm, this is block uh, this is uh, block activity if you don't know what block activity is this essentially shows you the activity of all the blockchains that are currently going on and it shows wax number two now wax has been number one multiple times this changes you know 
every I don't know when it recycles, but uh, if I leave it for like an hour and I come back and I refresh it, some of these names move around. But um, but wax currently is number two. It was actually number f like five yesterday. Um, then it was number three this morning. Now it's number two. So uh, uh, EOS is just you know killing it. In fact, if um, it's kind of a side note, um, Daniel Lermar made who made EOS, who also made BitShares, who also made Steam. Uh, all three of these are doing phenomenal and being used a lot. So um, Daniel is kind of a strange guy, um, but. Uh, and a lot of people make fun of him. I don't really know why, but he's made a lot of successful projects. But anyways, this isn't about any of them. Um, I also just noticed I don't I don't invest in any of his companies. But at any rate, this isn't about that. It's about Wax. Uh, Five million transactions a day. That's a lot of, of transactions. Uh, it has peaked up to about six point eight. Jeez, uh, look at US. That's crazy. Um, but. But it, but it is nice to know that even though the entire crypto industry has been bombing and tanking big time, Wax has main maintained. They've been in the top ten, if not top five. Uh, every time I check, they're in they're in the top five most of the time. I'm sometimes they're in the top ten, but most all, every time I check this, they're in the top five. Uh, so Wax is operational. It's one of the few blockchains that are actually completely operational, usable, successful, al already making money, um, and uh, and yeah. So and by the way, um, there's a you know argument of like needing blockchain because Wax you know with Opskins they were they were successful before you know blockchain. But the problem is when you're trading digital assets, there's a lot of fraud that goes on, and the blockchain solves that problem perfectly you know you can you can see where the original item came from and every time you purchase an item you can follow and see exactly where that item came from and there's no way to to commit fraud anymore which is awesome um and then wax also you know allows you to change anything any digital asset that you have on any platform you should be able to go to wax put it on there and sell it to somebody else um you know, exchange it for fiat money, exchange it for crypto money, exchange it for, you know, real life goods if you want. But so Wax is trying to essentially kind of do what Amazon is doing, but have it be all digital. Um, I'm sure they'll integrate, you know, a lot of their company into real life goods as well. And um, they're already slowly doing that with uh, with a few things. But but yeah, um, and and I don't, I don't know if people know how big this industry is, but so Fortnite, its first year made one billion dollars. In 2018, it made three billion dollars. Uh, the entire global music industry, uh, you know, and it's in 1999 it was 23 billion. It's been going down, and you know, it's currently at 15.7 billion dollars. So just Fortnite alone did three billion dollars worth of revenue in the gaming industry uh you know and people are saying the gaming industry is somewhere between 80 and 180 billion dollars but that's more than you know the movie industry and the music industry combined so uh that's just uh um and 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 it's just getting bigger and bigger if anyone has seen you know i so i don't i'm not huge in the gaming i do play games you know but i'm not huge into it but i see stadiums football stadiums completely packed and all they have is four giant screens facing the audience and people are watching you know fortnite or a, or a, um, i just recently saw one uh, the t mobile sponsored uh, overwatch uh, man that's just nuts tens of thousands of people um and just for a little fun, uh, uh, just to show, you know, kind of uh, where we'd be. But uh, so it, its all-time high was two dollars and seventy-seven cents. We're currently at four cents. So if we were to take two dollars and seventy-seven cents and divide that by point uh, oh four, we we're looking at sixty-nine point two five. And so if it ever got to its all-time high again, we'd, you know, pretty much seventy x our money which is always fun to think about. That being said, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not giving advice or anything like that. I'm just, I just, you know, hopes and dreams and aspirations and <laughs> FOMO and all that jazz. I just really love this project and it would be awesome if this project succeeded, which I, I think it will. But at any rate, um, that is it for me. Uh, if you guys are interested in this type of um, 
this type of review in, in coins, it's a little more in-depth and a little more all over the place and annoying, and I'm, I'm stumbling all over the place, but it doesn't take as lo that long to edit, uh, and I can produce them more often if I do it in this way. But uh, tell me what you think below about this project. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you don't like it. If you think it's going to fail, succeed, all that jazz. I'm really curious what you, what you know about it or what you think about it. Um, I love talking about... Uh, anything crypto so also when it comes to helping improve my videos people have been really awesome about that um, and even though there have been a lot of jerks I, I don't care it, advice is advice so I'll take it um, but uh, that being said I am I just dropped about two thousand bucks on film equipment and I'm gonna make my videos a little bit better a little bit more fun maybe go out and actually do interviews with people who don't, don't know about crypto and kind of see I, I have a you know so many of my friends I hear the exact same things when people don't like crypto and the, the things that they don't like about crypto it, it doesn't make any sense like well if they if they only knew if they were schooled a little bit, then they'd understand what they're saying is inaccurate. But anyways, um, that, that'll more come later. Super appreciate anyone's been watching. I ramble on a lot, and I, I apologize for that. Um, but like, subscribe if you want to see more and know more and whatever, whatever, yada, yada. Appreciate you watching. Take care. Bye.